Oh, what an adventure! <laughs> Get lost with Google Maps. Everybody, it's a little bit of an overcast day today, just a little bit, but the batteries will get full. All right, so the microphone's right here near me, near me mouth. So if you hear me, hear me breathing, then that's just me breathing. Okay, now as we go camping, I'm always looking for something that'll make our life a little bit easier especially with my video recording but um, I mean we take jumper leads and all that stuff with us uh, but I went out well I didn't go out I've been looking for a while and my, even my wife's been looking and we've been reading a lot of um, online reviews and all that sort of stuff okay about these portable power unit jump starters now this one here um, for what i could get in australia was probably uh, the one with the highest positive ratings now some of the negative ratings i'm assuming are from people that don't know what they're doing with the unit so basically i'm going to uh, give you a quick rundown this is not a paid advertisement or anything like that um, nothing at all like it as a, as a matter of fact 2600 peak amps unparalleled starting power it's got there and I'm a little bit in doubt about that okay and while we were looking at these by the way um, I got this one off Amazon and it was around about a hundred dollars cheaper then I could buy it from eBay and I'm an Amazon Prime um, member which doesn't cost a hell of a lot uh, so I got free shipping and everything with it and it was already in Australia uh, if you go to eBay I mean these are selling for 260 280 dollars in between that mark and that's a little bit much for one of these um, but there are some there and just be a bit careful there are some there that are making incredible claims of 888,000 amp hours or 999,000 amp hours and they're $40 and basically I think they're telling pork pies people okay um, don't even waste your time buying rubbish like that don't even waste your time because you, you got to look at battery capacities and what they hold now for instance a milliamp hour okay uh, this one claims to be 23,000 milliamp hours you see it there yes you can uh, and that's a believable claim because of the size of the unit um, now the usable amp hours uh, in that I would say would be around about 18 amp hours Okay, 23,000, there's a 1,000 milliamps to an amp, so that means it's, it's got a 23 amp hour battery with probably 18 amp hours of usable power, would be my guesstimate. And there underneath that, you can see it's got 12 volt jump start, 5 volt 3 amp, 9 volt 2 amp, 12 volt 1.5 amp USB quick charge, 5 volt 2.4 amp USB, 15 volt 10 amp automotive products and PD, w, 18, PD 18 watt type C uh, and 10 watt wireless charging okay so let's first of all this box is empty now I have to fully charged this okay and I needed to do that so I can show it to you but this is how it comes in the box okay now I'm only using one hand to do this with so bear with me so in here okay there's a whole heap of assorted stuff all the way down the bottom okay now this product sold in Australia so it comes with an Australian 240 volt charger 
Um, there it is there. It comes with the uh, 15 amp car adapter or, or you know lighter plug which plugs into it. It comes with a USB to type C and type C to type C and the jump starting cables. Okay. Now these are interesting. You'll see there's uh, two little uh, lights and a button there that says boost. Now if you use this if your car battery is just flat but not dead then you don't touch that boost button because when you touch the boost button all right basically it turns off all the built-in protections this has like reverse polarity um, arcing and all that sort of thing but if your car battery is dead flat then you push that boost button just you, you just push it in I used um, the edge of a type C to push it in to do the test and the green light comes on and then you're in boost but that's an unprotected mode so you know hook your positive up um, and your negative up a lot of people say oh you should do it in this order or that order but you're going to get sparks doesn't matter which way you go I always hook positive up first negative up last and then when I unhook I, I, I unhook the positive and then the negative but some people say oh no you got to do it the other way but you know whatever I'm not here to argue with people I'm just um, telling you how I do things how you do things you know it's a free world um, you know do it how you want to and then so when you put the boost on this green light comes on now if the battery internal battery of the unit is flat then the red light comes on and you need to recharge the unit okay it's got a very specific type of plug you can see there so it can't be put in backwards and yeah I mean it's it's pretty good that it's got built-in protections <coughs> <coughs> sorry about that okay so if we go in here all right let's have a look what's in the other pocket there's two pockets okay there's a book I've already read it that's how come I know all this stuff and I've already done the tests uh, to what I could test it and that wasn't a hell of a lot I won't be doing any um, destructive tests on this because I didn't buy it as a car jump starter I bought it as a as a very reliable charging station for my cameras if I want to do any night shooting or star, star shots um, I can just simply uh, now that I've got the aluminium housing all around my GoPro 10 uh, so it doesn't overheat anymore I can simply uh, leave it sitting out in the dirt on a little stand and uh, plug the battery into this and it'll uh, extend it because I've got a 256 gigabyte card in the uh, GoPro so it'll record for a lot of hours uh, in current mode off the battery uh, yeah it doesn't record that long but uh, in 4k I can get 10 hours out of that card okay so I'm planning on about 18 amp hours of usable power let me put this camera are you gonna sit there for me or do I have to lay you down you're gonna sit good on you all right so there it is there now you'll notice it's got these uh, little plugs that are quite firm and tight but they will loosen up out over time okay uh, if you've got one of those phones that does wireless charging then there's your wireless charger there that's your state of charge right there okay that will turn itself off in a minute if you're using this car starter one that goes into this lap here that's a 15 amp outlet it's quite a heavy little short piece of wire and it's a I call that a lighter socket um, I don't know uh, what the correct term is but okay all right let's go to the other side of the unit 
Now this is where it's marked quite clear. This is where your car jumper cable goes. And again, it's got a nice uh, waterproof and you can see it's two different shapes in there. So it fits this and you just simply plug this in like that. Okay, simple, simple, simple. Um, and in normal mode, you just plug that in um, power it on unless it auto powers on. Let me see if it auto powers on. It's off at the moment. Let me just plug this in and actually see if it auto powers on. It does. Did you see that? There we go. So it, it plugs in there and you can see it's fully charged. Uh, the red light's not on. It's not in boost. If I was to put this in boost, let me just use this type C plug. Now it's in boost and I've got no protections on it. So if any of these get uh, terminals get shorted, uh, then you probably end up blowing the unit up, which, as I say, what's what happens to a a lot of the um, to to some of the bad feedback. Okay, let me unplug that. Now it would auto power down normally. Okay, so let's go have a look at the front of the unit. At the front of the unit, it's got a standard, not very bright LED torch, which is good enough uh, if your car's broken down to see what's happening. Um, it doesn't go for, you know, two or three hundred metres. It's just an LED flashlight. It goes on and then it's got um, blink and then it's got SOS and then it turns off. All right. So at, at the front, uh, and to turn the torch on, you simply hold the button down and the torch comes on to change modes you push it push it and it's off okay and that changes mode and this will automatically turn off all right under here you can see we've got usb type c input to 18 watts and we've got nine nine volt uh, five volt nine volt 12 volt uh, and 5 volt okay and that's what the, the, the USB 3 and the standard USB uh, are for they're all charging ports um, and you can also um, charge this through those ports okay so the battery charger is just a standard USB battery charger. You use the standard um, the, the charging cable that comes with it. It's a charger unit. It's got a Type C, and you just plug that into the Type C port, and then you can charge the unit. Uh, if you've got Type C to Type C, uh, a lot of things are Type C these days. Samsung phones. Um, GoPro has been, always been Type C. Um, there's a lot of things that, that take the Type C uh, connection, which is this one. Okay, so I reckon um, they say this is 23,000 milliamp hours, which equates to um, 23 amp hours. So I'd say this has probably got about, eight, and it's quite heavy, I would say this has probably got um, 80 amp hours, 18 amp hours of usable um, battery power, and that's the uh, model number. It will start. It's big enough to start um, my my diesel and Ziggy's car. And yeah, so just have a look around before you buy them. I'm not recommending this brand because I haven't uh, taken it out bush yet. Um, and I didn't buy it as a uh, charger, although it has got that function. But for a uh, 18 amp of usable power, I think we paid about $160 for it. Um, and in a nice little packet like that with everything that packs away into its nice little pouch, that's a pretty good deal. I think that's a pretty good deal. All right. Um, in your country, because I'm on uh, YouTube, so this video gets viewed from everyone all over the world. In your country, you've probably 
got different brands and different types, but I looked at all sorts, Caterpillar, um, which was overpriced and seemed to be problematic, and I just looked at all sorts. And I mean, those ones claiming to have 888,000 amp hours, people, that's nearly 100 amp hours of battery power, or, or 999 thousand amp hours all right that's that's nearly a hundred amp hour battery and they were thinner and smaller than this all right highly unrealistic they were forty dollars to sixty dollars on ebay um look i wouldn't touch the damn things with a barge pole okay um and that's just my personal view i mean if you can afford it then and you need it then by all, all means do your own research um, I had Ziggy and myself working on the research for this because there's a lot out there a lot of different brands and we settled on this one um, when we get back from the camping trip I'll do a review because by then it would have been well and truly dusted and used and we'll tell you how good it uh, worked at keeping the dust out of itself uh, how well it worked as a charging unit which is what we want it for and a quick charging unit and um, yeah we'll give you a, a full feedback and if I ever need to start somebody's uh, car with it I'll do that test as well okay that's it this is the video is long enough keep safe everyone I hope you enjoyed that video you can hear the washing machine going in the background our off-grid house is running normal as always Keep safe. Bye for now.